All right, so here we've got kind of a re-dissolved zinc iodide product. We've actually added some acidified water, gotten those crystals to dissolve back in. So now our zinc ions, our zinc two plus ions are floating around with our I one minus ions. Uh, what I've got here are, are, is a nine volt battery with a, our positive and negative electrodes. Uh, and I've got those hooked up to two pencils here, but I'm connected to the graphite. The graphite is electrical. A um, little tricky here, see if we can get this lined up to be able to see if we can get those ions to come back out of solution. Come on, pencil. Work with me, pencil. You can do it. You can do it, pencil. You can do it. All right, so put these down in there. Hopefully our resolution is clear enough you can see that on kind of our positive electrode, there's starting to be kind of that brownish yellow color. Here, I'll move it a little bit so you can see. Brownish yellow color, that's the iodide ions. The negative ions are being attracted to the positive electrode, and then our iodine is coming back out as its elemental form. And actually on our negative electrode, we actually have, it's kind of hard to see, um, but our pencil is getting coated with a little bit of our zinc metal. So we're actually got, got our two ions able to decompose back out into their original elemental forms with the additional um, uh, uh, adding and removing of electrons via electrolysis. That's our nine volt battery that's doing that for us. So, so cool, we have successfully identified that we've got some zinc and iodide ions present in solution.